Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin Ve salatu ve selamu ala nebiyyina Muhammedin Ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecmain Amma ba'd Fe'avuzu billahi mineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rabbi işrah li sadri Ve yassir li amri وَحْلُلْ اُقْدَتَمْ مِلْ لِسَانِ يَفْكَهُ قَوْلِ رَبِّي زِدْنِي اِلْمًا اَجْمَئِنْ اِنْشَاءَ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to this session, dear brothers and sisters. I hope and pray that you will like it very much. It's a very fascinating session, chapter. From the outside, it looks very small. I was also studying it thoroughly. I don't remember everything that I have taught, all the lessons, but when I look at it, Everything comes back to me. It refreshes my mind. And this time, I was myself very fascinated because I try to collect as much information for you as possible. Why? To make it more interesting for you and make it uh, exciting for you. That is the reason. And you will love it, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Lesson 29. We start with the key. As usual, we always will start with the key. And when you study Madina books, you should form a habit to start the lesson with a key. Try to understand as much as possible. Also, in the key, there are vocabs, very beautiful vocabs. So you can <clears throat> learn something from the vocabs. And then <clears throat> come to the main lesson. Uh, that should be the routine. Uh, so we are looking at the key of lesson 29. In this lesson, we learn the following. al mafulu li ajlihi or mafulun lahu two names but this name al mafulu li ajlihi can be understood very well and it is very interesting it is a master verbal noun what is the function of that master which tells us the reason for doing an action. Some action was done, and this is the reason for doing that action. It is a master which tells us the reason for doing an action. So, Lam Akhruj, I did not go out. Why did you not go out? How fun! <laughs> Fear, for fear of the rain. See, how fun, how fun. Mansub, it's a master. Why are you Mansub? Huh? We can ask the master, why are you Mansub? Because it is al mafulu li ajlihi. The master which tells us the reason for doing an action. So, I did not go out. Why did you not go out? How fun, min al matri, for the fear of rain. This is a very beautiful sentence. Hadar tu, I attended the class. Hadar tu, hubban, ah, hubban is love, lin I attended the class for what reason? 
for the love of grammar. Yes, we are all attending the class. Hubman, the Nahum. Here, the Khaufan tells us the reason for not going out, and Master Hubman tells us the reason for attending the class. Here is another important point. This master in Mafuru Li Ajili mostly denotes a mental action, yeah, mental action like fear, love, desire, respect, etc. It is Mansu, remember, it is always Mansu. So, a master in Mafurun Lahu, that is Mafurun Li Ajili, is mostly with Tanmin, it will have a Tanmin. But it may also be Muda, it can also be Muda, but it will be Mansu, but it won't have Tanmin. So here is a beautiful verse from the Quran. La taktulu awladakum khashiyata imlakin. See, khashiyata imlakin. So then this is mudaf. It may also be mudaf. Imlakin is mudaf ilayhi. So this was the practice in the early period of Arabia. There was ignorance everywhere. So they used to, used, used to bury children live, especially daughters. They used to bury live in the ground. Put the young daughter that was born, beautiful child, and put earth on it and she will be suffocated and she will die. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not kill your children for fear of property. And there's more to it. You will read it later on in more detail. Huh? Do not kill your children for fear of poverty for fear of poverty. I hope I said properly, for fear of poverty. Khashiyatan imlaki means poverty, huh? fear of poverty. Huh? Here is a hadith, which has all got the same thing, but it is a different master. Fear, again it is fear, but different master. Also this is, I could say, this could be a Khaufan, and this is Master Mimi. Remember, it is your Mukhafata. It could be, I am not sure, but you know, when you read something, you have an inclination. Probably this is Master Mimi, you know, fine, because Mim came huh, in the beginning. It's a, it's a Master. Nahan Nabiyu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Yusuf. Faru and Yusaf Faru, Bil Quran, Ila Ardil Uduin, Ardil Aduin, and the land of the enemy. Why? Mukhafata and Janaluhu Adu. That it will harm, the enemy will harm it, you know. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, prohibited the Muslims from taking the Quran to the land of enemy. Why? For fear, yes, Bukhafata, for fear that the enemy should harm it, you know, uh, should not respect it or treat it very badly, should not harm it, you know. There is, that's all. That is the main theme of this lesson. See how small it is? <laughs> but don't worry, there's a lot to come. Lot, lot detail. This is another thing that is mentioned in the this lesson. Allah. This particle is used in a verbal sentence. Allah is used in a verbal sentence. 
It is used with mudarya to urge one to do an action. Mudarya to urge one to do an action. And with the Mahdi to rebuke somebody for neglecting an action. So we, we will understand this, inshallah, slowly, slowly. If you are absolutely new or if you have forgotten, it will all come back to you. And if you are new, you will find it very interesting, inshallah. Allah tashkuhu ilal mudiri. See now, tashkuhu is mudariya. To urge. I've written here mudariya. To urge. You should have not complained about him to the should you not have complained about him to the headmaster? Should you not complain about him to the headmaster? Urging, urging. That means you should, you should do that. Complain to the headmaster. Now, halla shakautahu. Halla shakautahu. This is Mahdi. Shakau. Hello, Madin Nabnunala Sukun Tau is the file who the, the student, you know. Expression of strong disapproval. Yes. In the Madi to rebuke, to reprimand, expression of strong disapproval. We must uh, understand this because all of these will come in the Quran. Should you not have complained about him, the headmaster? You should have complained, but he did not complain. In the first case, it is called harfu tahdeed, particle of urging in mudariya. In the second, harfu tandim, the particle of rebuke. We have lots of exercises coming. The words like Allah, I put it in a circle. Allah, Lauma, Laula are also used for Tahdeed, urging, and Tandim for rebuke. It is a beautiful verse. See now, I want to show you how we should understand it. If you read it, probably you won't get the exact gist of the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lawla. Huh? Lawla here. Lawla. Idh samaytumuhu. If you had heard, when you heard, when you heard it, huh? who is it? Lawla is samaytuhu. Now comes Zan al Mominuna wal Mominati bi anfusihim khairan. Yes. They should have thought, you know, Momin, believer, and Mominat bi anfusihim khairan. They should have thought about positive things, you know. Wakalu, and they would say, Haza. If kun mubin. So here we read the whole thing properly. Why did not the believers, men and women, when you heard it, zanna, heard it? No, this is when you heard it, is a samaytumuhu. Think good of themselves. Yeah? Zanna. Think good of themselves. Khairan. Zanna al mu'minuna wal mu'minatu bi anfusihim khairan. And say, kalu, and say, it is an obvious lie. Haza ifkun mubin, obvious lie, open, open lie. Now, again, I say, from the outside, it looks not easy. It looks complicated. 
But even with the translation which is provided by Dr. Abdurrahim, one has to break it down. Is it and al mominuna wal mominati? They should have thought of themselves be unpossible khairan. And after thinking that way, they would say, Kalu Haza if kun mubin. It is an obvious lie. There is one more thing will come here. Very simple, but it is. You know, we know harfu atfin, vav, fa, fumma. And even la can be harfu atfin. <laughs> See how deep the Arabic is. Even la can at a time be harfu atfin. This la is a conjunction. La al atifatu. It is only used in affirmative sentence or one containing affirmative sentence means there is no negation. For example, kharaja bilalun. La hamidun. So here, this is la atifatu. Conjunction. Huh? Here there's a question. Is Alil Mudira? Huh? This is an Amar. Huh? Ask the headmaster. La Mudarisa, not the teacher. Again, beautiful sentence. Kul, kulil tufaha. Eat apples. La Mauza, La Mauza, not the bananas. Eat apples, not bananas. That is the end of the lesson. But, but <laughs> see, I told you it's very, looks very short, but it is not short. And you should always look at the vocabulary. There's a treasure, the present Medina book, which Brother Yusuf Jamal worked so hard to give it a shape, which we have in the bookstore. Four huge volumes at a very discounted price of $50. We cannot ship. If anybody wants it, they have to come to the bookstore or send somebody to the bookstore. The bookstore is only open three days a week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, from 5.30 to 8.30, that is the time. Come, you are welcome to the bookstore. If you need anything, especially Madina books, the new Madina books, okay, fine. That's the end of our talk about the key. Now we go to the main lesson, inshallah. <clears throat> Yes, main lesson, you know, lesson 29, lesson 29. <clears throat> so that is the lesson which talks about al mafulu al mafulu Lil Ajili. That means the master is Mansuf because of it, for the reason of it, because of it, because of the reason. Or you can say Mafulun Lahu, two names, another name. It shows, it shows why you did the action. It shows why you did the action, you know. So in short, in brief, huh, that is what I have written from the, this lesson. It is a master which tells us the reason for doing an action. 
The master mostly denotes a mental action like fear, love, desire, respect. And it is always manso that is in just the explanation of this lesson. Lesson number 29. Adarsu tasivu tasivu valishru. Now I have to tell you something. When you will get the recording tonight, Inshallah, you will take out your book, but it will be better if you take out the new Madina book. That is why I'm saying you that even if you have old, let it stay where it is. Get a new one, Inshallah, because it's very beautiful. The pages are full size, eight and a half by 11, and the writing is big. So, now wherever you will see how fun, hubban, rahbatan, ragbatan, ragbatan means hubban, khashiyata, fear, and hadara, hadara, to be afraid of death, hadara al mauti. Now, this is very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Tata Jaffa, we will study. And in this ayah from the Quran, Kaufan and Taman, two. Only agile comes, and then this is the detail. And this is something very interesting. Ria, Ria, also Mansub. Why you are Mansub? It is the full only agile. These are all will come. Now, also here, Tadiban and then Kasad. That's it. So, I have here a question. Is Takhrij, is Takhrij Minat Darsi Amsilata Al Mafuli Lahu? That is Mafulungli Ajuli. Istakhrij minat darsi amsilat al mafuli lahu. Point out all the instances of mafulun lahu occurring in the main lesson. Yeah. So we are going to do this simultaneously. Point out all the instances of mafulun lahu occurring in the main lessons. So we'll do it while we are studying. And then you on a sim on a page of paper, you can then write down all the mafulumli ajili one by one, one by one. Probably there are about <clears throat> nine or ten. I'm not too sure. So we'll do it, inshallah. So, so remember that now we are studying the lesson. Yeah, this is a question answer. Answer the following question from the lesson. I encourage you to check the Hello Tamarin so that you don't have to spend too much time thinking, just copy it. But when you copy it, you must watch the vowel signs on every word, be it a noun or a verb. You should watch the vowel signs. Try to understand when you write and put proper vowel signs. That will help you a lot and make you strong, inshallah. Inshallah.
Now we start from the beginning. Al Mudaris. He is saying to Adnan. What is he saying to Adnan? Lima, why? Tanduru. Lima Tanduru Fisati. Why are you looking at the watch? Lima Tanzuru Fisati. Alfainata bad alfainati. <laughs> Beautiful sentence. Brother, the language is very beautiful. That is the mastery of the genius of Dr. Abdurrahim. Allah has blessed him so much knowledge and wisdom. And he has worked very hard and studied everything. He's one of the best scholar of Arabic in the world, I should say. He's one of the best scholar of Arabic in the world, Dr. Abdurrahim, you know. So now, the lesson is absolutely fascinating, very eloquent. You should enjoy reading it. I enjoy reading it and understanding it. Lima Tanzaru. Lima Tanzaru. Nazara Yanzuru. Why are you looking at the watch? Al Fainata Bad Al Fainati. What is this? Al Fainata Bad Al Fainati. No. See, this is Mansu. Is this a full only Ajali? No, no. This is Zarfu Zamanin. What is it? Zarfu Zamanin. What is the meaning? Uh, zarf. Why are you looking at the watch from time to time? Uh, every uh, minute or two minutes, he will look at the watch. Yadanan. So, Fainatun, yeah, Fainatun, time, period, instant, moment, 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 sorry, moment, instant, time, period. Adnan replies, In Nama Afalu Zalika. I'm only doing it that for what reason? How fun! <laughs> How fun for the fear of mean fawatil mawizi mawizi is an appointment fata huh? yafutu this is a master missing the my appointment here is another word mururil mawidi passing away of the appointment finally mawidan wahiman i have a very important Appointment, Maha Tabib Bada Kadil. Now again, I have to just point out to you to remind you. See what what is this Inna? Inna Ma. Can you remember? I'm sure a lot of you remember. Inna Ma has got two words, Inna and then Ma. What is the explanation of? What is the grammatical explanation? In Nama is Kafatun Makfufatun. Kafatun Makfufatun. It means the action of the Inna has been cancelled. By whom? By Ma. So Ma has cancelled the, the characteristics of Inna, which needs. Uh, Mansub noun as a ismuina, it is necessary. But in short, the scholars write whenever you see in nama or annama, it means only. What does it mean? It means only. Please remember. Huh? See now in nama afalu. See, there is no noun there. I only do that. For what reason? How fun? When fawatil mawidi, by passing off my appointment, you know, missing my appointment, mururil mawidi, 
Finally, Mohidan Mohiman, very important appointment. See here, Inna, this is Ismu Inna. This is not Ma Tabib. Li is a Jar Majun Shibu Jumla, female in Nasbin, Khabar Inna. I am just telling you to refresh your mind. You can also, I have another request. When I analyze a verb or a noun and say something, you should try to repeat after me. Be prepared to repeat after me. Inshallah, that will also boost you, boost your memory, and you'll become more uh, smart and active in understanding you see. Al Mudari, see now can Halla Halla. We have to watch what is what is after Halla. Is it Madi or Mudaria? Halla Gipta. So Gipta is is Madi, you know, Fiel Madi, file, and Hazi Hil Hissa. You should have remained absent on this. From this period, you should have taken a time off from this period. Now here you see Madi came. You should have re remained absent. Uh, this is uh, this is a reprimanding, uh, reminding him. You should have remained absent uh, from this period. So that is Madi. Huh? No, Adhanan replies very beautifully. I want you to understand everything. I'm trying to analyze Kana, brother, Fieru Madin, Nakisun, Babni Nala Fata, Bi Imkani, Imkana, Amkana Yumkinu, Imkan. It was possible. What was possible? And Astaizina. Now this un comes. It has the ability to make a master from this, you know. Because I ask you something. No, I'm going deep, huh? I'm asking you something. Brother, I am always interested. Be imkani is Jar Majrur. Jar, Majrur, and then Mudaf, Mudafilehi. It was possible for me. Huh? And Astaizina to take permission from the Mudir. Fi Geabi for this absence and Hazihil Hissa for this period. But I didn't do that. <laughs> Why didn't you do it? But I came here to the class. For what reason? You didn't remain absent. I attended the class for what reason? Hubban for the love. Hubban for the love of the grammar. I attended the class for the reason of loving, having a love for the grammar. See how beautiful the sentences are, my brother. So now I'm going one step more in detail. If you understand, well and good. And if you don't understand, please don't worry. Don't worry, inshallah, one day, as you become more and more strong, you will be able to understand everything the way I'm explaining, inshallah. And someday you will teach other also. The, when you teach other, the first benefit comes to you. The first benefit comes to you. When I studied, I was not sure 
whether I will remember everything. But once I started teaching, the first recipient of the benefit was myself. I became more and more strong as I, as I taught more and more. So you will someday, inshallah, teach other, and you will become strong. So here, brother, there is the file of Imkan. Here is the file. And Astaithina Mudira. What is this meme I wrote down? Napulun Mutlat. Staizana Mudira. So, how will you translate it? Baking a master. Staizanul Mudiri. Permission of the director. See? Permission of the director. Staizanul Mudiri. That is the. And, Astaizina Mudira. Imkani, it was possible. For, what was possible? Permission of the director. Feel Giyabi on this absence, on this period. So I am going a little deeper. Please do not be overwhelmed, do not be gabrified. Just listen and someday you will be able to understand more. And also when you get the recording, you see right now you are sitting with me for two hours. But when you get the recording, divide the recording into to a period of half an hour, 45 minutes or even 20 minutes and try to understand and write down your notes. That way you'll become more Proficient, inshallah. Mudaris is saying, after hearing all this thing, Mudaris is saying, Zadakallahu ilman. Zadakallahu ilman. Very beautiful sentence. Zada yazidu. And it has two mafulun bi. Remember, always remember, two mafulun bi. Where are two mafulun bi? You and Ilman. May Allah increase you, increase you in what? Knowledge. Zadakallahu Ilman. Very beautiful sentence. Zada. Fielu madin mabnin ala fata. Allah is the file. Ka is mafulun bi number one. Ilman mafulun bi number two. Ha kaza yakunu. That's the way. Huh? Hakaza Yakunu Al Talibul Misali Yuna. That's the way. This is how an exemplary student is. This is how an exemplary student is. Hakaza Yakunu Talibul Misali Yuna. We know Talibun, but this is the Nath Misali Yun. Uh, the beautiful word, exemplary student, uh, exemplary student. Again, in Nama, <laughs> in Nama again, kafatun mahfufatun. Only, uh, the translation will be only. In Nama Yadrusu, that Misali student, uh, he studies. Why does he study? Um, the, the exemplary student. What does he do all these things? Ragabatan again, Bafulun Liajlihi. What is the meaning of Ragabatan? Hubban. So again, I'm pointing out to you all these things. Khaufan, Hubban, and Ragabatan. You will write down on a piece of paper. Fil huh? ilm. For the love of the knowledge. He studies, and the student, exemplary student, studies 
only for the love of the knowledge. La Rayabatan Minal Imtihan. He does not study for the fear of examination. <laughs> Beautiful sentence, my brother. Hakaza Yakunu, like that Yakunu, Atalibul Misaliyu. That's the way how the exemplary student is. He studies for the love of the knowledge. He does not study for the fear of examination. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I hope you got the message. Beautiful sentences, my brother. Beautiful, beautiful. You may wish to read more and more. Again, another piece of advice. If you are reading it and if you are all alone, you should read loudly, slowly and loudly, inshallah. Ibrahim, Ikra al ayat ya Ibrahim, read the ayats, the plural, Ikra, Amar, file Anta, that is Ibrahim, al ayati, why it is al ayati, Mansub by Kasra, Lianau, Shama Muanas Salim. Jamaam wa salim. Alhamdulillah. Baad al-istiyazati. Istiyazati means after saying, what does he say? We say, whenever we have to read Quran, Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Istiyazati means saying, Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Alhamdulillah. <coughs> I am not going to worry that I should finish the lesson. If something is left, we'll do it the rest next time. But let us see how much we can progress. La taktulu aulada kumsi. Now comes in detail. La taktulu auladukum. Do not kill your children. Taktulu. But then this is actually taktuluna. Why? This is la nahiya. This is la nahiya. Fielun mudariun majizumun bihazifinun. Wow is the file, wow huh? jamati. Antum, awlada mafulun bi kum mudafilehi. Kashiyata, same. Kashiyata al imlaki. For the fear of poverty, Allah says, don't kill your children. For the fear of poverty. Why? Allah gives a lot of encouragement. Nainu, narzukuhum. We will provide rizq for them. And iyakum. Nainu, narzuku, narzuku, hum, mafulun bi, and mafulun bi, wa iyakum. We will provide rizq for them and for you. All of you, all of you, all of you. Plural. In katlahum kana. It is a major mistake, very big mistake to kill your children. In katlahum, in for emphasis, katla kana khitan kabiran. So here again, dear brothers and sisters, this is your ismu in mansub. This whole sentence, it is a very big mistake. This whole sentence comes as a female rough in khabar in. See, I'm just telling you, hinting you, 
This is, we can analyze this also, but we are not going to do this just briefly here. Yeah? Now, another ayah. Yaj'aluna asabiyahum fi azanihim. They are putting their fingers asabiyahum. They put their fingers in their ears. Yajaluna asa biahum fi azanihim. Min sawaiki. Sawaiki is thunderbolts of lightning. In the Middle East, you know, I was there both in Saudi Arabia and in Jordan. Somehow, the lightning and thunderbolts are deepening. Oh gosh, it can shake you up. Huh? They are so loud. Huh? The reason Allah knows, you know, because of the atmospheric uh, reasons. So, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says they are putting their yajaluna asabiya fingers. Singular is isbaun, plural is asabiu, finger, fingers, fi him in their in, from the thunderbolt. For what reason? Hazar al mauti, <laughs> for the fear of death. So this here, Hazara is your mafulum li ajlihi, Hazar al mauti, for the fear of death. Eh? Did you get the idea? Now here is a very beautiful sentence. Very beautiful. Extremely fascinating. What Allah is mentioning in the Quran. This is all Quran, my brother. al sajadatu Now, <clears throat> watch it carefully. Huh? What? Very carefully. Tatajafa. Tatajafa is mudarya. So, what is the madi? Tajafa. 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 To, ab to abandon, to avoid, to shun, to turn away from. Tatajafa junubahum. The side of the body. Uh, this is plural. Singular is janbun. Uh, janbun is the singular. What is the meaning of janbun? Side of our body. Uh, janbun. Tatachafa uh, junubhum. They abandon, avoid, shun, turn away from their side, from their sides. Uh, this is the file, Junubu, whom? Mudaf Mudafili. Their sides. Or you can say, here is another thing. Forsake their beds. They abandon, abandon their beds. They avoid their beds. Anil Madaji. Now again, see, from the place of sleeping, Madaji, everything I've written here for you to get full benefit, inshallah. What is the singular? Madjau. They shun their sides, body, from the sleeping place. Place of sleeping, Madaji, Madjaun, singular. We will, Dr. Saib will ask us everything, plural, singular, everything. I have done everything. What is Madaji? Couch. Sometimes people sleep on couch. We sleep sometimes bed. Why are they abandoning? 
their sides from the sleeping place? Why? Here is the reason. Yadauna Rabbahum. Yadauna da yadu. Da yadu. Yadauna Rabbahum. What is the meaning of Yadauna? Praying, beseeching, begging, invoking Allah, praying to Allah, beseeching Allah, begging Allah, invoking Allah. Why? What is the reason of that? How fun? Fear. But huh? Taman. Craving, desiring, coveting. Huh? They do this. They do this for, for praying. Why they do this? How fun. Rafurunli Ajid. And Taman. Vamimma Razakanahum Yunfikun. No, I have written a detail. Explanation huh? for you to understand and enjoy, inshallah. So, Junubahum, I have a singular side of the body, Janbun. Huh? And what is the meaning of Tajafa? He has the another word, Ibtaada. Ibtaada. Huh? Form eight. Ibtahada, to move away from, go away from, or means Zahaba Baidan, go far away from. Huh? That is the Tatajafa. Huh? Now, look at it, my brothers and sisters. Here is the gist of this sentence. They don't sleep at night except little. Hmm? They don't sleep at night except little and devote their time in worshipping Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't sleep at night except little and devote their time in worshipping Allah. And they spend from what we give them. So this is the meaning of, you know, the they don't sleep at night except little and devote their time in worshipping Allah. <laughs> and they spend from what we give. Very nice explanation I found in the books. Now we move forward. Another fascinating thing comes. Very fascinating. Another ayah. Ja ayyuhal lazina amanu la tubtilu sadakati kum your charities bil manna bil manni wal aza do not uh, invalidate abutala Yubtilu, this is Yubtiluna, La Tubtilu, it's a Majzum, Bihazifi Noon, Vowel Jamati File, Sadakati, this is Mafulun B, Jama Monas Salim, Udafilehi, Bil Manni, Bil Manni, Wal Azah. So what is the meaning of money? I've here, written here. Very, very important for us to understand and think, to remind someone of the favors he has done. You do a favor and sometimes we should not remind him of the favor that we have done to him. No, that is not nice. Allah does not like that. You did a favor, a good thing. You don't Remind somebody and make him feel little. 
reminds someone of the favors he has done. Or we can say, we did. Okay. Well, aza by harm, injury, offense. No, don't do that, Allah says. Kallazi, like, Kallazi, like, Yunfiku Malahu. He spends the wealth, his wealth. Yunfiku Malahu. This is a very beautiful word. Also, Master, also Mansu. Al-Wafulun li ajli riya al nasi riya al nasi mudafilihi wa la yuminu billahi wal yawm al akhiri and he does not believe in Allah and the day of judgment but he still spends money why does he spend money for what reason the reason of riya Nasi, to show people he is so pious, but he is not. That is not his intention. He is only feigning to be pious. He is only feigning to be religious. And Allah says, and he does not believe in Allah. And he does not believe in Yomil Akhira. So now I wrote down here the meaning. I have written in detail to to explain you, inshallah. No. Rava is to see. Yara. So what is this? Riya comes from? It comes from form three. Ra'a. Yura'i. To show. Huh? So Ra'a. Yura'i. What is the master? Riya, and it is Master Lil Mafulun Li Ajli, it is Mansu, and Mudaf, Mudaf Li. This I'm explaining you still more in detail. Ra'a Jurai, and the Master Riya. Okay, here are some more verbs for you to think. Nada Junadi, Form 3. Master Nida Alaja Ju Aliju Master Ilaj Jahada Yujahidu Master Jihad. Did you get the idea? That's form three. There are two kinds of master. One is Fialun and other is Muf Alutun. Muf Alatun. Muf alitun, muf alatun, muf alatun, muf alatun. Yeah. So we should understand and keep it in mind, you know, that form three, normally every other form has only one form of master, but form three has two kinds of master, fialun and muf alatun. So that is the master from form three. So what is the meaning of riyahu? To do a pious act, yun fiku malahu, to do a pious act, not to please God. No, no, that is not his intention, not to please God, but to please people. Why? For people to see he is so pious and generous, but he does not believe in God, does not believe in pleasing Allah because he has no faith in Allah. And Yomil Akhira. So I also wrote one more thing. We can say, here I've written, up here, everywhere I've got notes. Eh? Hypocrisy. This is the Riya, is a hypocrisy. A feigning to be what one is not. A feigning to be what one is not. Or to believe. What one does not is only feigning to believe what one does not, especially the false assumption of an appearance, yes, of virtue and religion. You know, you you have a beautiful dress and you have a beard 
and you appear to be very pious and religious, but that is hypocrisy. And that is the Riyah. That is the Riyah. Again, a feigning to be what one is not, or to believe what one does not, especially the false assumption of an appearance, yes, of virtue or religion. So that is the meaning of Riyah, you know. Allah says, Oh, you believe, do not invalidate your charities. Your charities will money will azar. Like the one who spends money, his money, Riyan Nasi. So, brother, when you when you remind somebody of favor one has done, or you even harm and injure, so that will amount to this. It will cancel all your good good deeds, eh? invalidate all your good deeds. You know, la tubuti luna. So noon will go away. Eh? Sadakatikum will manni well as a by reminding people of the favor he has done kalazina yunfiku malahu riya al nasi showing off allah says he does not believe in allah in yawm al akhirah alhamdulillah i hope you liked it i got lots of notes it took me quite a bit of time to first to study, take out the notes from different books. And then I had to write it down and then again check it because I am bound to make mistakes in writing. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, my brother. <clears throat> Now, Yadakulul Murakibu, the supervisor enters. Mahu Zuhair, and what with him is a student Zuhair. Murakib, Bada Tahiyati, after exchanging salams. Yakulu Zuhair, Zuhair says, Innaka Manatahu Mindukhuli. You have stopped him from entering. You have prevented him from entering to the class. You have stopped him, Manata, you, in Naka Manata, who, Minduhuli. Did you stop him from entering? Question mark. In Naka Manata, who? Did you stop him from entering the class? Al Mudaris, yes. Again in Nama. Al Kafatum Makhfutatum. Okay. Only. I only did that. Manatuhu. I only stopped him. What reason? <laughs> See the dialogues? Incredible dialogues, my brother. Tadiban. Ah. But full only, actually, he, for what reason? Tadiban, to discipline or punishment to discipline him. Fakad asbaha atta khuru dabahu wa All these beautiful things Dr. Abdurrahim is bringing. You won't find in any other uh, book of learning Arabic. Inama manatuhu tadiban fakad asbaha. Asbaha is the sister of Kana. Tahuru. Ismu asbaha. Dabahu wa daidanahu. What is the meaning of? Da'abahu wa da'idanahu 
both words have same meaning. Dabahu Padaidanahu, it has the same meaning, but together they emphasize more. Coming late has become, lateness has become Tahuru. Lateness has become his habit. Dabahu Vadaidanahu. Now Murakib is saying, <laughs> Allah. Allah tashkuhu ilal mudin. Uh, here, Allah, after that comes Budarya, Shaka Yashku. Tashkuhu, you should have complained to the mudin. Now, this is, is urging, you should have complained to the mudin. Why didn't you complain to the mudin? <laughs> Al mudaris. Innama asbaru. I again same innama. Same innama. Same innama. How many times innama has come? Asbaru. I am patient to him. I am patient with him. Kasta. Uh, mansub. Why are you mansub? Bafununli ajli. Uh, aiming, intending. Islahi. His improvement. I am aiming for his improvement. Huh? What reason? Aiming for his improvement. Asa Allahu ain yusliyahu. Then he says, May Allah make him saleh. Allah asa Allahu ain yusliyahu. May Allah make him saleh. Inshallah. Where did, did I come from here? Yeah, yeah. Allah tashkuhu ila mudin. You should complain. It would have been better. Or can't you complain to the mudir? That is all the meaning of Allah. Allah. You should have complained to the mudir. It would have been better. Can't you complain to the mudir? If was, this was his habit, can't you complain to the mudir? The teacher says, in Nama Asbaru, I am only patient with him. For what reason? Kasta, aiming, intending his improvement. Alhamdulillah. That's it, my brothers and sisters. So we have done all these things I have circled. You will write down on a piece of page and then check your answer with, with Hallo Tamarina. Everything is there at your fingertips. The lesson, the answers, the explanation, and on top of that, this recording sh should make you understand the dars beautifully, beautifully, inshallah. Now, answer the following questions. Answer the following questions. Three questions. Lima yanzuru adananu fisati miraran. Often, often, often. Every now and then, often. Miraran. Yanzuru adananu fisati miraran. Mirar and rather, I beg your pardon. Mirar and how fun! Why he's looking at the watch? For how fun, fear! How fun! Min fawatil mawidi for missing on his appointment. You know, did you get the idea? Min fawati fata yafutu. Fawat is the master, mean Fawatil Mawidi. Lima Hadara Darsa Ma Annahu Maridun. Here you have to understand, brother and sister, Ma Anhu. If Ma comes with Anna, 
it has the meaning of even though. If ma, ma, master, anna comes, no, ma is yes, is a zarf, zarf, ma. The meaning is even though. Please remember, huh? even though. So, hadara darsa, here. Ma anhu maridun, even though he was sick, he still attended the lesson. Why? Hadarat Darsa, he attended the lesson. For what reason? Hubban Linnahvi, for the love of the grammar. See, my brother and sister, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dialogues, you know. Lima manhal mudarisu zuhairan, minat dukhuli, why did the mudaris prevent zuhair from entering? Manahu min dukhuli tadiban, yes, for disciplining him, disciplining him, teaching him the manners of coming early. Tadiban, again here. Bafulun liajli, bafulun liajli, tadiban dahu. Fakad asvaha tahuru dabahu, badai danahu. The lateness has become his habit now. Coming late has become his habit now. Now we go in more detail. Again, the same thing. What we did in uh, Chi of Madina book. We did some, so this is repeated. So th this gives you more, more time to reflect. And you have already good idea, so this should be even interest you more and make you more strong. Adartu Hubban Lin Navi. I attended the class for the love of Arabic. Hubban, for the love of Arabic. No, grammar, I beg your pardon. For the love of grammar. Huna. Huna. Hubban mafulun lahu. You know. Hubban mafulun lahu. Al mafulun lahu. Au mafulun li ajli. Mastarun. Yuzukuru li biyani sabibi fiel. Did huh? it? it Libayani means it interpret, interprets, interprets, depicts, it describes the reason. Yes, it describes the reason, interprets, depicts. Okay. Masterun Yuskaru is mentioned to describe the reason. Okay. Now, again, same thing. For the fear of poverty. For the fear of poverty. Yeah. Do not kill your children for fear of poverty. Yeah. So now this is what I have explained you to write down on a piece of paper. Inshallah. So all those, about nine or around, around that figure, I I have written here somewhere, but not handy for me. Point out. Point out all instances of mafulun lahu in the following sentences. Yes. Here again, there are new sentences from the Quran. Right? Point out. Where is the mafulun? Look at it, huh, brother. Now I had to, as I say, I I have quite a few books. Maybe six, eight I have. I check everything. If I'm not satisfied, I want to check again some something else till I feel satisfied. Huh? So I had to even go to double dictionary. Huh? 
double dictionary. You all have double dictionary. You all have double dictionary. But if some of you who live in Toronto don't have it, you can write me an email and I'll give you a time to come to the bookstore and inshallah, I will get one for you. It's a, it's a, this is a real treasure. Two dictionary only, only for Quran. That's all. So I had to go to double dictionary. nasi. Mai Yashri Nafsahu Ibitiga Mardatillah. See here, here is this, my brother. Ibtiga Ibtiga. This is your Mafulun. This is your Mafulun. Li Ajli Ibtiga Mardati. Mudaf Mudafili. Allah. So, what is this Yashri, my brother? So, I have to go to the double dictionary. Look at it. We are very familiar with Ishtara Yashtari, to buy. And when we say sell, we buy a Yabiu, to sell. But here, Shara Yashri, Yashri, is to sell, to buy, both, both, huh? to sell, to buy, to give it for a price, to give for a price, to sell, to buy, to give for a price, and also remember here, to barter, to barter. These are all the meanings of Shara Yashri. Not very commonly used, but comes in the Quran. So we have to have a knowledge of some words which are infrequently, infrequently used, infrequently used, but we must have a knowledge. So this double dictionary is most helpful. Shara Yashri. Qala ta'ala minan nasi man yashri nafsahu Why they barter their they are themselves, I'm using the barter word. Why do they barter themselves? What reason? To gain the pleasure of Allah. So here it is. Exactly I got the meaning from double dictionary. But there is also a kind of a man or a lady huh, who gives his life, who gives his life. Huh? Why he's giving his life? Seeking God's approval. Oh, ha, ha, ha. That means God's pleasure, God's approval. We spend, we do everything, you do everything, I do everything. What is my aim? Seeking Allah's pleasure. Seeking Allah's approval. That is the meaning of it. Eh? Did you get the idea? So this is it. But there is also a kind of a man or a woman who gives his or her life to seeking God's approval. That's, that's the meaning of it. Alhamdulillah. Here is second sentence, not in the Quran. Usadiku, sadaka usadiku. Usadiku, form three. I should have written form three. I did not write. Form three. Form three. Usadiku. Zamili. Aza. Dafan, yeah, Dafan, li dararihi, dararihi. What is the meaning of all this thing? To usadiku means to befriend. Huh? 
sadaka you sadiku to befriend i befriend my this companion haza zamili haza this companion so as to put away his harm so as to remove his harm from me sometimes we have a friend we are got to be very careful so we we befriend my this companion haza the fun to avoid he can harm me so i the fondly darri so as to put away his harm becomes necessary in life sometimes you know alhamdulillah got the idea the fun now at at gada an al hawatil astikai tagada also form 6 tagada form 6 i did not write again form 6 i'm writing to overlook to disregard tagada ai ha this is this is mudariya tagada ya tagada atagada an afawatil astikai what is the afawati small mistakes i overlook disregard the small mistakes of my friend why are you doing that istibqa an ya this is your profoundly as it for what reason istibqa an li mawaddatihim to maintain his friendship let us read it i overlook the small mistakes of my friends what reason istibqa an li mawaddatihim for maintaining his family relationship his his friendship goodwill friendly relation huh? that is the meaning of maudatihi to maintain to keep to retain to retain his friendship goodwill friendly relation so to maintain that i overlook small mistakes of my friends did you get the idea inshallah again this is form 10 istabqa istabqa form 10 to maintain to keep to retain this is the meaning of his his friendship goodwill friendly relations you know here same thing we did it before huh? naha nabiyu ain yusafara ain yusafara bil quran ila ardil aduwi makhafata ain yanaluhu aduwi la rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam prevented to travel with the quran in the land of the enemy fearing that he may harm it you know mukhafata ain yanaluhu means si mukhafata ain yanalu will be a master maid which will be mudaf ilayhi fearing that the enemy sh- should harm it may he, he he can harm it you know fine alham alhamdulillah move forward fill in the blank in each of the following sentences with the words given in the bracket bracket brackets with the word given in brackets making it mafulun lahu mafulun li ajli very interesting very interesting how much more 
I think we'll finish the lesson. Inshallah, we'll finish the lesson. Complete lesson. Yeah. See, here is Khawfun. Here is Khawfun. Khawfun. Ragbatun. Bakhafatun. Ijla'alun. Bukhiyatun. Khashiyatun. We'll have to make Mansu with the master. Lam Akhruj. Lam Akhruj. Min al bayti al yawm. I didn't go out of my house today. Why didn't you go out today? How fun. How fun. Mafulun li ajli min al harri. Earlier we had stood min al matari min al harri for heat or extreme heat in some countries in especially Saudi Arabia, even in Jordan, it can be extremely hot in summer. Min al harri. Lam akhruj min al bayti al yawma khawfan. Min al harri. Iltahaktu bil jamiyati al islamiyati. I joined the Islamic University of Medina. Ragbatan. Fil ulumiddin. Ragbatan. Father, law of knowledge of the deen, ulum, plural, for the law of knowledge of the deen, ragbatan. Here is another beautiful sentence, lam akrail jarasa, I did not ring the bell. I did not ring the bell. <clears throat> Why you did not ring the bell? Mukhafata. Fearing. See, this is this one. Fata. So then this thing will make a master and have a mudafilihi. I did not ring the bell. Fearing. And yes, take is a Marie do. Yes, take is al Marie do. Fearing that I will wake up the patient, sick person. Mukhafata, and yes, take is a, is take is to wake up somebody, al Marie do. Mukhafata, got the idea? Come to, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Come to, ijlalan. Ijlalun, Ijlalan, Lid Mudarishi. I got up to the teacher for what reason? When the teacher comes in the class, I got up for what reason? For the reason of respect, honor, reverence. Ijlalan means to respect, honor, reverence. All these vocabs are in our this lesson in China. Fine. Next one. Akrahu Sufa. I read the newspaper. Why do you read the newspaper? Bugiata. Bugiata. Al Itilai. Itilai is information. Bugiata. Allah Ahwali Muslimina fil alam. So here I read the newspaper for what reason? Bugiata it lie means so as to know. Get informed. To know and get informed. Bugiata is it lie so as to know. 
Remember, this is mudaf mudaf ilahi. Get informed. Ala ahwal il muslimina fil alam. The condition, state of situation of the Muslims in the world. This is another nice, nice example. La ya azalu, zala ya zalu. La azalu al basu malabis al sufi. So, la azalu comes, it means I continue. I continue to wear al basu. La ya zalu al basu. I continue to wear albasu, malabisa sofi, woolen clothes. I continue to wear woolen clothes. La azalu albasu. I wear. I continue to wear malabisa clothes, sofi, woolen clothes. Why? Why? What is the reason? Kashiata, <laughs> fearing, fearing, Kashiata. Ay, Yusibani Bardu, Asaba Yusibu, uh, to, to get cold or become sick from cold. Kashiata, no, we will make a here, master from there. Kashiata and Yusibani Bardu. Fearing that the, the cold will catch me or the cold will make me very sick. So that is the fear. I am continue to wear woolen clothes. Don't give up. Did you get the idea? La azalu al basu malabi sal sofi. I continue to wear woolen clothes. Kashiatai. Yusibani Bardu, Asaba Yusibu, to be inflicted for the fear of catching cold. Right. Again, we come to Halla. Gipta and Hazil Hisa. Halla Tashkuhu Il Al Mudi. Halla has got two meanings. It can it can come for urging, Arfu. Taididi or for rebuke, Tandimi. Is a Dakhalat Alal Mudaria? If it comes with a Mudaria, Fahiya Lid Haddi Alal Amni is the particle of urging to urge somebody to do the job. Now, example. Halla Tazuruni, see? Mudaria. Halla Tazu. There will no there will not be any negation. Huh? Remember, huh? The all will be affirmative sentence. Halla Tazuruni. What is the meaning of it? You should visit me. Huh? Huh? Do visit me. That is the meaning of Halla Tazuruni. Do visit me. That is it. Huh? Iza dakhalat ala maadi kaanat li jalil fail yandamu nadima yandamu So here to regret on missing the command or slipping away from the order Okay now I have written here more When you say it is particle of rebuke, huh? if it is Mahdi, then it, it has to be a particle of rebuke. What does that mean, you know? To criticize adversely, especially to correct a fault. Huh? That is the meaning. To criticize adversely, especially to correct a fault. An expression of strong disapproval, that is it. To reprimand sharply, that is the particular review, an expression of strong disapproval. So, here is the verb 
Nadima Yandavu, to regret, to be sorry, to feel sorry, to repent. That is the meaning. Keep, we have to keep that in mind. Whenever you see Allah, what is after that? Is it Mudariya or Mahdi? Allah Ishtahatta. Mahdi. This is Mahdi. Ishtahada, Ishtahatta. Elul Mahdi, Nabi Sukum. You should have worked hard. Ishtahada is to work hard. You should have worked hard. You didn't work hard. You know. Fine. So that was your uh, Mahdi. It means it's a particular rebuke. Huh? Yes. Fine, brother. Allah ishtahatta. Hunanka Allah. Huruful ukhara li taididi wa tandini. There are some other words expressing urging and rebuking. Wahiya Allah Allah lauma laula. These are all given for us to understand. Allah yatubu in Zanbika, now we have to see, is it Mahdi or Mudariya? Is it Mud Mudariya? Taaba Yatubu, in Zanbika. Huh? Allah Tatubu, in Zanbika, somebody is advising us, somebody is advising you. Huh? Won't you repent? You should repent. Huh? In Zanbika means, from your sin and mistakes. Allah tatubu min zanbika. Won't you repent? You should repent, you know. Fine. Hati mufrad tala smile ati ati. Asabiu ispau finger. Savaika thunderbolt. What is the singular? As a saikatun. Savaiku saikatun. Thunderbolt. Now my eyes are getting watery and Junubun Janbun, side of human body. Side of human body. Huh? Savahika Saikatun Thunderbolt. Madajahu bed. Madajihu Madajahu. Sadakatun Sadakatun charity and all. Now Judhilu kullu talibin dabi wa daidani fi jumlati. Every student should use this in a sentence. Okay? Fi jumlati. Dabi wa daidani. My habit. Huh? So, this is very beautiful. Very beautiful. So, here is. I got it from the Hallotamarin. Remember, everything is there. Go to the Hallotamarin, exercise by exercise, and write it and understand it. Dabi Vadaidani. Dabi Vadaidani. Dabi Dabi Vadaidani. And Atamasha. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Bada Salat al Fajri. Huh, my brother? This meaning was not there. So I had to dig it out. Dabiva huh? Daidani. It is my habit. My habit. Huh? I atamasha that I take a leisurely walk. Atamasha, tamasha that is the word. Huh? Tamasha. I wrote down here. Form five. Tamasha, atamasha. I atamasha. This is will be a master from here. We will make a master from here. Dabi wa daidani. Ain atamasha 
that I go for a walk by the Salatil Fajri, mashallah, beautiful example. It is my habit to go for leisurely walk, leisurely means unhurried. Eh? It is my habit to go for leisurely walk after early morning prayers, alhamdulillah. So that was your Palm 5. Huh? Fine. What is the next one? Did we do this? Yes. Now here is something else. Huh? We are now told to Understand this law, al atifatu. This law is a conjunction, la al atifatu. It is used in an affirmative sentence or one containing amar. That is the that is the condition. It is used in affirmative sentence. Or one containing Amar, Felu Amar. Huh? Okay. So now we have to see here how the La Al Atifitu works. Yutafu biha likhrajis sani. Mimma dakhala, mimma dakhala fi al awwalu. Ikhraj means here to be affirmative. Huh? I've written here, ikharaj means after affirmative answer, to answer in the affirmative, say yes, affirmative, we enter this thing, you know. Ayin yakuna mufradan, either it should be singular, mufrad, or no jumla. More words, but no jumla. And it comes after the uh, answer, affirmative answer, or after Amr. Huh? So look at it, my brothers and sisters. Safara Bilalun. La Muhammadun. So what is La Muhammadun? Conjunction. Safara huh? Bilalun. La Muhammadun. So this is the way it will come. Ishtaraitu Zajajata. I bought a chicken. What kind of a chicken I buy? Mazbuhatan, slaughtered. Ishtaraitu Zajaja, Mazbuhatun. La Hayyatan. Yeah, this is see, La came here because this is uh, affirmative. Huh? And it is Amar. I'm sorry, it is Amar because of Amar. Shtaraitu la hayyata. No, I think it is Jumla, Felia, but it is la hayyata. That is more important. La hayyata. Not live chicken. Here comes Amar. Is alil mudira. Ask the teacher. Amar. La lal mudirisa. Mudarrisa, not that Mudarris. Ask the headmaster, is al al mudira? La al mudarrisa. So these are the example of la al atifatu. Again, Amar. Kulil tufaha. Amar. Eat apples. La al mauza. Mafurun bihi la al mauza, not the bananas. So here, promoting the eating of apple, alhamdulillah. Kulil tufaha la al mauza, fine, alhamdulillah. That's it. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Summa alhamdulillah. We will do this lesson next week, inshallah. Bilkul, we are coming 
at the exact time to finish the lesson. So dear brothers and sisters, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed collecting all the information for you to make it more interesting. My aim and my job is to make it simple and make it more interesting for you so that you enjoy it and then do your homework at home, write down all the exercises, looking at the Hello Tamarin and listen to the recording. You will get it tonight and then you can go slowly, slowly, half an hour, 40 minutes or 25 minutes at a time so that you completely understand it, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. I am grateful to Allah that we could do it on time, alhamdulillah. So we will see you next Saturday and we'll do lesson number 30. What is the topic of lesson 30? Do you know? What is the topic of lesson 13? You will love it. Tamiz. Tamiz. Tamiz is the topic of lesson number lesson number 30. So I will be talking about Tamiz and sometimes but Tamiz. <laughs> tamiz. So we will do this next time, inshallah. Let's pray together. Brothers and sisters, join me in the prayers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your sacrifice of time to study and understand the Quran, Arabic language, as a hasanat in your scale of good deeds. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. May Allah bless you all your spouses and your children with excellent health, with barakas in your risk, in your jobs, in your businesses, in your careers, in your professions, in your education and the education of your children. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with a strong memory and deep knowledge of Arabic to understand in depth the message of the Quran so that we all feel the miracle of the Quran in our hearts. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enlighten our homes and our families with the light of the Quran. And more so, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instill this nur of Quran in our children. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. May Allah keep us all safe and protected from the evil of the virus. May Allah protect the Muslim Ummah all around the world, wherever they may be residing from the evil of this virus. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the humanity at large from the evil of this virus. See you next Saturday, inshallah. Keep safe, stay healthy, Wear a mask when you go out and observe physical distancing and follow the guidelines of the health authorities. Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasanatam, wa fil akhirati hasanatam, wa kina azaban nar. Rabbana, hablana min azwajina, wa zuriyatina, kurrata ayunin. وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّكِينَ إِمَامًا رَبَّنَا تَكَبَلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ السَّمِيُّ الْعَلِيمُ وَتُبُوا عَلَيْنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ أَمَّا يَسِفُونَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ الحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خير Take care of yourself. We'll see you. Next Saturday, inshallah, 2.30 is the time. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.